Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this brushed buttercream style cake. I've taken a six inch cake and I have stacked and crumb coated it and applying a final layer of frosting in black buttercream. To create black buttercream, I like to take some dark chocolate ganache, mix it in with buttercream and then add a whole bunch of black gel food color. You could always add the black gel food color directly to your buttercream, you just end up using a whole lot more compared to if you had the dark chocolate ganache. You want to smooth out your frosting completely, clean up the cake board and then drag that top lip of frosting towards the middle of the cake. Place your cake into the fridge to set for a good 30 minutes. And in the meantime, you can color in your buttercream for the actual brushing section. I've chosen turquoise and green, and I've taken a circular cookie cutter and pressed it into the frosting so I have a guide as to where to pipe my buttercream. My camera did not record that section, um, but it's pretty straightforward. Once you've piped your ring using that template, you wanna take a brush and just basically brushing towards the um, inside of the circle. So starting about halfway on the piped circle and just dragging it down and across. Follow the direction of the circle as you travel around. So kind of repositioning your brush so that everything kind of leads towards the middle of your circle. For the inside, I've taken a smaller cookie cutter and I'm just kind of creating an indent to follow for my second layer in a different colored buttercream. Depending on the brush that you use, it'll have a slightly different texture and effect as you brush your buttercream. I've taken just my regular uh, pointed brush, but if you use like a broad brush with harder bristles, you'll end up having a nicer <laughs> texture, I think. It'll be a little bit more interesting. Um, you'll definitely see more of those bristle strokes had you used a wider brush. But this still looks cool anyway, I think. Continue all the way around your cake until your cake is completely covered with your brushed buttercream. If you wanted to, you could use royal icing for this instead. Typically you would use royal icing, but as you can see here, it's just as effective with buttercream. A quick note as well, don't allow your cake to be too, too cold when you go on it with the brush and the buttercream. If it is really chilled, then your buttercream is going to set before you have a chance to really brush it out. Just a quick tip, my one actually came out of the freezer and so I struggled a little bit with creating those brush strokes. And that's it. Very easy to do. Just use any cookie cutter you have on hand. You can do any shape at all. If you do recreate it, I would love to see it. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.